Hey, this is Allison Chano. Welcome to my channel. I will be making a tutorial for you. So I'm gonna show you how to make scale mail. Scale mail. This is a tutorial just to show you how to do the weave. I'm not telling you how to make anything in particular, but I'm giving you the tools so you can make whatever you want. Like bracelets, or bras, or more bras, or crotch flaps, or butt flaps. It's on the back. There's a butt flap back there. Butts. So you can make whatever you want out of it. I'm not judging. So I got some helpful feedback from my last video. So hopefully this is a better tutorial for you. So you can make vests and get all the lanes. He's made of metal. Rock hard. But first, here are some manufacturing mistakes to look out for. Make sure your scale has its hole properly centered. If you use a bad scale, the alignment could cause issues with the way the scale falls in the pattern. But you can still find ways to use those wonky scales, like to make earrings. Be on the lookout for bad rings. Obviously, if your ring isn't complete, you can't really use it. Supplies! I get all my supplies from the Ring Lord. You can find your materials elsewhere or make your own, but these are what I used for this project. Make sure you're using the proper size rings for the scales you're using. These dimensions can be found on the ringlord.com in the scales section. Step one, open a ring. Try not to do it too far or you can overextend the metal. Step two, place your scales back to back on the open ring. In this case, I'm referring to the lumpy part of the scale that will be on the outside of the garment as the back, since you mainly weave with the inside facing you. Step three, close your ring up so it's nice and flush. Bad closures can get caught in hair and fabric. Flip it around and take a look. It should fall like this. Next, open up a ring again. Put the ring through the hole of the top scale and underneath the back of the next scale. You can also just repeat the process you did for the last one. Close her up and take a look. When working with scamel, you'll start thinking in diamonds and triangle shapes. If it doesn't look right, try flipping them around so that they lie like this. Repeat this process over and over again. It's really just the same thing every time. To help keep your pattern in place as you work, you can stabilize your piece by tying it off or by pinning it to a table or to a cork board. Here I'm just tying a string to the top hole and stabilizing it to a lamp that's sitting on my desk. I don't normally do this, this is mainly just for an example. I like the freedom to be able to pull my weave closer to me because I'm blind. Starting out you may need to try this technique, but I've gotten used to the scales and identifying mistakes in the weave so it's not necessary to keep the pattern still for me. Now you know the basic steps. Go ahead and prep a bunch of rings for you to use. Open them up so you can just grab them as you go and weave faster. You can continue to put the ring through first and drop the new scale over the open ring. Or you can put the scale on your open ring first and then bring it through the back of the target scale. Keep this up. It's time consuming, but you'll get faster at it. There should be a scale between every set of two scales. Think in those triangles and diamonds. This is what the front of your piece should look like. Dragon mermaid. 
If you got your start in making chain mail, this is basically a European 4-in-1 pattern using the scales hole as your central connecting hole. You can go back through and fix any closures. If they're not flush, then you'll run into snagging and discomfort, or your rings and scales might not stay together. And there you have it. That is how you make scale mail. Leave a like or comment if you liked it. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know what else I can help you out with. Love hearing from you. As long as we respect each other. If you enjoyed the tunage in this video, please check out my friend Takayo. Links in the description. Links everywhere. Links. Just links. Links all around. Links for you. Links for you. Sorry. Check out all these other videos around my face if you like what I do and you want to see more. And I'll see you next time.